I should have said no. How many times have you felt this way? When you overcommitted and then the moment you promised someone that you were going to do something, be somewhere, help with something, show up somewhere else, you regretted it for whatever reason. Wasn't big enough, wasn't important enough. Um, you overcommitted, you've said yes too many times to too many things that are happening in sequence at different places, different cities, different states, countries, or things that are happening at the same time in two different towns. So now you gotta call someone and disappoint them in a sense and say no. Whether it's personal or professional, this comes with age and experience like most things do. It is very important to walk that fine line and balance between saying yes to opportunities, getting out there, being more visible, more noticeable, more helpful to others because you truly believe that your life is life of service and you want to help others to be successful and over committing, right? Don't feel bad if you have to say no to some people. Be honest, be straightforward, be direct. You don't always owe them an exp explanation or reasoning behind that no either, right? That's an important distinction to make. Hey, I want to do X, Y, and Z. Could you help me? No, sorry, I can't. I have other plans. I've made different commitments. Or no, I'm not really good at that. Or no, I, I hate that. I'm not interested in it. Right? Just be straightforward. Don't hurt anybody's feelings and go out of your way to be difficult and combative, as some might say. But be very thoughtful and mindful of doing what you need to do for yourself, your future and career, while at the same time helping people, because it's not all about you, it's about others. Because if you help others succeed, you provide value to them, ultimately you get yours in most instances, right? You get what's coming to you. On the other hand, find some time that is sacred for you to think, to reflect, to relax, not be part of something or a machine that just keeps moving forward and grinding 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Right? So, I've said this in the past, look up evaluate where you are and in this process in order for you to be able to have those opportunities in time where you can look up reflect make adjustments to your strategies and your tactics you need to be able to say no to some people so don't be worried about saying no it's better if you say no to someone up front than to commit and then when it comes to the day of you showing up delivering helping out in whatever way you not showing up and delivering because that's even worse. Or two, calling somebody last minute and saying, sorry, something came, came up. I don't want to be there. I can't be there. Right? If you knew that three weeks ago, tell them right away. Don't wait. Don't build somebody else's hopes and dreams up just to tear them down because they were counting on you. They've asked you a month ago. You said yes. Now that day arrived and now you're bailing? That's not who you are. At that point, you suck it up and you deliver. But... Be very mindful as to what do you say yes to, to whom do you say yes to, and why. So, have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. As always, if this is the first video you see, please consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends and coworkers. Have a wonderful day. Do not be afraid to say no to some people. Have a great day.